Hey, Captain John here. So we went out on the boat yesterday after doing our anti-siphon valve and new fuel line hose. We were good for about two hours. And then after two hours, we started bucking and really bogging down. And we basically came to a complete stop and we couldn't move at all. And I'm pretty sure I determined what the problem is. We're vapor locking the engine at this point. And after thinking about it long and hard and what has changed over the last year, there's one thing that's changed. This is an engine that's three years old. It ran great the first two years in this engine compartment. And then last year it started acting up. And I remembered one thing that has changed over the course of the last year. And I'm going to show you that in one second and we're going to fix it. And this should hopefully take care of our problem. Can you see that? That's a blower motor. A year or so ago, the upper portion of that actually uh, broke off. And so if we look down, this is a real pain to get to. And in my infinite wisdom, I was thinking, well, you know what? This is sucking the heavy gas fumes up and out, but I didn't think about all the heat dissipation. And that is the only thing that has changed. And the more I think about it, this is gonna be the issue. It was a nightmare, but I actually got the hold and tack out, and now I get to crawl up in here. Well, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit different than I thought. You can see the screws up here. And this is probably just wrapped around this. So we're gonna pull this off and then get the new one on there. And then this is the return to it back up. So I got this out, but I was totally incorrect on how this thing is on. So this is on with screws, not a zip tie. So what I did was there was the four screws that you saw up there probably. I loosened all four and then I took one of them out and then this just slid out. So now I can take these other four out, put the new one on, get it back up there and that should be it. All buttoned up. So it's time to just put it back in there. I did put uh, probably about two or three of these all the way up. So that's how the original one was. So that's what I just did. I didn't just put one. I got about two or three of these rings up here. Here we are, back in, everything buttoned up. I think we're good to go. There we go, the nightmare's over. Everything's back in. Everything's nice and neat. Nice, smooth airflow should flow up now. And we'll see what happens. All right, it's Captain John. So we're back on the boat. We've got a good evening to go try out this thing, see how well it works. We're just gonna add a little bit more fuel into the boat. We've got our engine and fuel system cleaner. We're gonna put this in also. And in case anything starts to happen on the water, I've got my temperature gauge that we can do a test with. And I've also got our fuel injection service kit so we can actually see what the pressure is on the rail if anything starts happening while we're out on the water. All right, so we didn't get out because one of my neighbors stopped by here. We were BSing. And in that short amount of time, the fog rolled in. So, yeah, this is what we're looking like right now. <laughs> so right over there is the Maniloking Bridge. Right over there is Maniloking. And, yeah, the fog just totally rolled in within the last 15 minutes. All right, another successful boat ride. We were out there running the engine easily for three plus hours. All different kinds of conditions through the no wake zones, opening it up and everything ran great so let's now go check out the vents and see what kind of heat we're putting out of the back of this boat now that the blower motor is working optimally so 107 108 coming out over here this is where the blower motor is exhausting and if we come over here we only got 90 91 92 so we got almost a 20 degree difference good 18 16 18 degree difference between over here and over here so we're doing a good job now getting all that heat out of the engine compartment we are now back on the water we're going to open her up in a second but first the theory behind what was happening now since the blower motor wasn't fully hooked up it was causing a lot of heat to build up in the engine compartment and when that heat built up in the engine compartment it did two things it caused all the electronics on the engine to start to go on the fritz, including the ECM. Then when we backed off the throttle, we went back down to no wake speed. That caused the engine the vapor lock. So let's get out there. Let's gun this thing out on the river and see what happens. Okay, here we go. 
Got 900 RPM. We're just coasting. Let's open her up and see what she does. Okay, so I think we got this one solved. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, Captain John from Nordosphere, out.